Hello and a very warm welcome back to Hughes Nursery and in today's video we're highlighting one of the biggest struggles that we have as gardeners and allotmenters, especially in the British climate and that's slugs. Now there's a very famous quote especially in the permaculture world by Bill Mollison and it's about snails but you'll see how it comes into context. It says you don't have a snail problem you have a duck deficiency but here in the UK it's kind of being turned into you don't have a slug problem you have a duck deficiency and I'm going to kind of show you how we use ducks is a holistic system in this garden so the ducks come through and do our slug control and how that kind of works and also why I think every garden needs a flock of ducks I know in some gardens it's not possible but I also feel one of the biggest problems is allotments and slug populations there so we're going to touch on that as well but what we need to do now is let them out so in here the ducks are ready to come out it's an absolutely gorgeous morning you may be able to hear obviously they're very excited to come out so i'm just going to let them out and hopefully if all goes to plan they'll run right past oh and we've got two eggs this morning good morning And as you can see, they're ready to go exploring. So we've got six ducks and the breed uh, Kaki Campbells and they're absolutely fantastic. They're well known for having a very good success rate when it comes to busting slugs. Now, I just wanna highlight a few really important things when it comes to poultry and gardening. So for example, we have a strict rule now, not so much through winter, but from kind of March onwards, we can't let the chickens in because chickens are very destructive creatures. They like to scratch about and peck. And by accident last week, the chickens came and started scratching up the onion sets because they're kind of looking through for grubs. But ducks take a very different approach. They're more interested in the grass and grass, we're going to come on to that because that is one of the key things against the fight of slugs. So they come along and you can see the footage now, they kind of look about and, and go hunting throughout the grass. And the great thing about this is that they don't really take that much interest in your plant so what we always do is we'll never let the ducks be alone in the garden if i've got to go down just so i can keep a gentle eye when i'm getting on with other jobs so that's that's the first thing another thing about ducks which i love is that they're actually in terms of herding and in terms of herding animals chickens they're a bit crazy they just go around and they literally run about like a headless chicken if you're trying to chase them into your garden say for example during winter to peck through some grubs however ducks i find are a lot easier to herd through the garden and in terms of getting them through the gate they, they just want to they kind of go like water down a path of least resistance and they're not always trying to dart off so that's a really useful thing now what we found with ducks is that as well they're very friendly animals to have in the garden they make these really friendly sounds and, and yes if you don't get too close to them they're just going to get on with their job and so what i find when i go to different places for example doing talks at either wa meetings or gardening groups a question which always comes up is how do i fight against the never-ending battle against slugs so i always say for us it is ducks and a lot of people are like, oh you know i've never heard of that so i thought making a video to tell you that this is a possibility and it might kind of be a last ditch effort if you're always getting inundated with slug damage now i mentioned allotments a bit earlier on and that is a really big problem because the thing about allotments is that they're full of slug habitat so when i mentioned grass as well that's where slugs love to hide especially if you have longer grass so what i did this morning i came with a strimmer and gave the garden a good strim because keeping grass as low as possible is really good to prevent slugs trying to hide there during the day 
Now, by the soft root, we have longer grass. And when I let the ducks in last time, that's exactly where they went. They went to longer grass because they know that is where the slugs are going to hide. Now, in allotments, there are lots of places where people might, might not be as good for maintaining the grass or they have lots of things. So right in front of me, you won't be able to see, but there are planks of wood and stones and tools left everywhere. And under the planks of wood or bits of cardboard, slugs will hide. And if I, if I leave something during the day and come back tomorrow morning, I will no doubt find slugs hiding underneath them. So what you can actually do is you can actually do that almost as a trap. If you're wanting to plant somewhere, put down some cardboard overnight, turn it over, and then you can collect the slugs. So you're trying to diminish the slug population. So in terms of prevention, I think if you're really wanting to fight against the battle of slugs, it's a two pronged approach. The first approach is to defend and the second approach is to attack. And I know there's a saying where attack is the best form of defense, but I honestly believe if you put in your prevention strategies, you've won half of the battle. So as I mentioned, just making sure there's nothing for slugs to hide underneath. Now, even for example, growing brassicas and you get these yellow leaves, when these fall on the ground, these are other places for slugs to hide underneath. So you need to go through and pick those yellow leaves. Now, the other thing is if you're finding that you're trying to prevent as much as possible, and also if you can hear some interesting noises behind me, what's happening is we're putting a fence around a new garden, which is super exciting. So bear with me, but you're gonna find out a bit more about that soon. So back to the attack sometimes you just feel you've tried everything and you're fighting a losing battle that's when you do have to do some quite drastic changes and i honestly believe that ducks are the answer or ducks are the solution and i know a few of you might be growing in a really small kind of suburban or or urban back garden then something that you could try and look at doing is you could do a community slug busting scheme. And I know this sounds a bit crazy and, and, and out there, but what if you had someone kind of living nearby, but a bit more rural who looked after some ducks, but maybe once a week, they could come to your garden for a couple of hours and go through looking for all your slugs. It's things like this, which you need to bear in mind. And it might be completely not possible, but I just want to show you that there are so many different options when it comes to fighting against slugs. So what I'm going to do today is I feel that especially when it's earlier on in the morning like this or more towards dusk or evening, there's a lot more moisture about in the grass and that moisture brings out slugs. So that's the most effective time to get ducks. So you don't have to worry about getting ducks when it's during the hot day. What I do is focus on when there's a lot of moisture or when it's raining. So hopefully that's given you quite an interesting aspect into fighting against the war of slugs and I honestly believe ducks are the way forward and I would absolutely love to see every allotment possible have its own flock of ducks and the members can rotate looking after them. I'd love to know what you think about this and if you have any kind of quirky ideas which not many people use because I really feel it's a massive limitation when you're fighting against slugs and ducks are fantastic. They use them in Japan in rice paddy fields as almost a natural pesticide but as ducks and to also go through some weeds which is very interesting so it's such a good way and if it is possible by all means go for it even if it's two or three ducks you don't need six two or three ducks are going to be more than enough for any small to large scale allotment or garden so thank you very much for watching i'm going to let the ducks in now and get on with some gardening jobs